Let's go to the Democratic Republic of Congo now, where at least 36 civilians have been killed in a massacre. Suspected rebels of the Allied Democratic Forces killed the civilians in the town of Beni on Saturday night. An army spokesman says the victims were found in the Rwangoma neighborhood on the outskirts of Beni. The attack is thought to be in retaliation for military operations in the area. The ADF is a partly Islamist armed group of Ugandan origin and has been accused of atrocities in the past. Now, the town of Beni lies in North Kivu and has seen numerous massacres since October 2014. Well, now, earlier we spoke to DR Congo's government spokesperson, Lambert Mende. Mende says the threat from militants should not be ignored and instead African countries should unite to fight terrorism. Uh, that happened last night at uh, 7. And uh, this is a terrorist attack as any other terrorist attack. Uh, we lost uh, 36 people, which is too much, and we are shocked by the death toll of this attack that happened in the suburbs of Beni Town. This is a small uh, suburb uh, out of the town. Those people came, killed people, then ran away, and uh, our troops are now following them, hunting them in the jungle. We are having a problem of uh, a perception of the situation that is going on in Beni. So many people think it is a, a local situation. While we know very well that we are victim of uh, jihadists who are coming in Somali, other from Kenya, and uh, we need really solidarity from the international community. We have shared information with our uh, counterpart within the Great Lakes states, but uh, we are still only the only one to to fight against this uh, threat since then, since years. We are alone. Uh, other countries, African countries as well as non-African countries, must cooperate with us so that we end the threat against our people there in North uh, Kivu.